Hello children, how are you? Hope all of you are doing well and you performed exceptionally well in your 10th class examinations and what next? So what is your target? So everybody has already decided and where and uh, which course you have to join and what is your uh, the future in selecting the various colleges. And it's a dream for all the students who studied in government colleges or government schools to study an integrated course completely with the support of the government. So which is, uh, which is going to be an advantage for the students who studied in government institutions. So definitely you can take it as an advantage to get admissions into Triple IT Basara, especially in this academic year. So, you know, all of you, in this pandemic, the selection process of Triple IT Basara changed. Okay, so all of you know the terms and conditions and how to get admission into Triple IT Basara is through Polyset Entrance 2021. The criteria of selection into IIIT Basra will be announced later, but the qualifying exam for the entrance into IIIT Basra is through Polyset 2021. So this is the qualifying examination that you should clear to get admission into IIIT Basra. Okay. So an important point is this year. The competition is going to be high because even the government, uh, along with the government students, even the private students are also going to compete equally. So you have an extra advantage of 0.4 marks as you are the students of government institutions. So make use of that advantage along with scoring high marks. So we are going to explain and how many marks you are going to get and what is the weightage of each and every chapter and topic wise along with the previous questions in the coming videos. Okay, so today just we are going to discuss what are the chapters are there in the physics and how many marks and what is the weightage of each chapter and how many questions are going to come this year according to the reduced syllabus and how many questions came in the previous years from these topics, from these lessons and topics also. Okay, so we are going to explain detailedly. So today we are going to discuss what are the topics are there to uh, in physics examination especially, right? So all of you know the first chapter is reflection of light. So in class 10th, you have reflection of light at curved surfaces, not plane surface. Okay, that is important children. Reflection of light at curved surface. Plane surfaces we completed in class 8. So no question is going to be asked on reflection at plane surfaces. So every question will be there based on reflection of light at curved surface. And in this reflection of light at curved surface, we have different different topics. Okay. So what are those topics? So let me explain the topics. So, in reflection of light, so first we have types of mirrors. So, types of mirrors means how you can identify convex mirror and how you can identify concave mirror. Whether it is in, in the case of diagram or in the form of a theory question. That means, if outer surface is silvered, which kind of mirror it is? If the inner surface is silvered, which kind of mirror it is? So like that, so the question based on the types of mirrors. So this is the first subtopic, which type of mirror along with the introduction, right? And next subtopic is terms, terms related to mirrors you have to follow the same kind of procedure according to the subtopics then you can cover entire 
topics in this particular chapters so terms related to mirrors so terms related to mirrors means what how many terms we have what is a mirror then pole principal axis center of curvature and radius of curvature after that focal length so these are the topics right so first is types of mirrors second one terms related to the mirrors and <coughs> the next one is rules so rules for the formation of image so how to get an image so what are the rules to be followed while tracing the images and the next one is sign convention so what kind of sign conventions to be followed while solving the problems especially the sign convention will help you in problem solving right so sub topics types of mirrors terms rules sign convention and then image formation so image formation means for different kind of positions of the objects where the image is going to form that means if the object is at infinite distance where the image is going to form is it going to form at the focus or is it going to form at the center of curvature that already you know so you have to concentrate on the image formations along with the theory and even the diagrams also and after image formation then nature of the image so this is very very important nature of the image means uh, you have to cover everything so where the image is going to form which type of mirror it is that means is it real image or virtual image is it erected image or inverted image okay so nature so already you know we have one method to find the nature of the image is it right so where it is going to form and what kind of mirror it is is it right so this is about the next sub topics and the next one is mirror formula mirror formula and magnification so these are the most important sub topics so that you can cover everything in this chapter so if you focus on these topics then just while revising also just rules what are the rules in solving or in understanding this topic so what is sign convention if you understand sign convention you can you can solve any problem without the mistake right so these are the sub topics involved in reflection of light so similarly we are going to discuss the sub topics in refraction of light also but while preparing for the exam you have to make a list of all these sub topics and read the textbook thoroughly line by line if you follow the the matter or the content which is given in the textbook thoroughly then you can answer 90% of the questions as far as physics and chemistry is concerned okay so just a 10% of questions will be application based but remaining 90% of the questions you can solve if you go through the textbook so coming to the refraction of light in refraction of light also in this sessions in these sessions we are going to discuss only the refraction of light of 10th class that is curved surfaces so plane surfaces we discussed in 9th class so refraction of light at curved surfaces in this also same sub topics will come so same sub topic that means types of lenses okay so in this important sub topic is type of lenses that means transparent substances and after that terms terms related to lenses and rules rules will be same just a sl uh, slight modifications and then sign convention lens formula instead of mirror 
in reflection of light it is about mirrors and in refraction of light it is about lenses okay so lens formula and magnification okay and one more important topic based on these two the combined effect of these two chapters the in the combination of these two chapters is applications applications are uses if you see 2020 question paper or 2019 question paper or 2018 you will find one question in every paper which kind of mirror is used by dentist that is concave mirror right so that is the application that means use so where you are going to use and which kind of mirror is going to used by uh, the different different situations in our day to day life so one question will be compulsory on the basis of applications or uses okay and this is the, it can be asked either mirrors or in case of lenses okay and coming to and as far as uh, 2021 paper especially is concerned everything is there from these two chapters no portion was deleted so everything is there 100% syllabus for polyset from the textbook this chapter is also 100% okay no topic is deleted so now coming to human eye and colorful world so in this chapter we have partial syllabus some topics deleted from this chapter only human eye is there colorful world the terms related to colorful world deleted okay so human eye means what is the structure of eye what are the different different uh, uh, organs are different different parts of eye and functioning functioning of those organs okay so that means you have to study the structure of human eye so terminology related to human eye so that already you learned in 9th class biology also and uh, there is no much significance of uh, the working of human eye in physics so we have to concentrate only on the terms so what are ciliary muscles and uh, what is aqueous medium so this only terms the terms are enough in human eye and main thing is in this chapter you have to focus on the subtopic is least distance of distinct vision right students a very important question in human eye is so many times that means 2020 and 19 this question is there what is least distance of distinct vision in terms of the distance that means uh, what is the minimum distance that which we can see the objects clearly okay uh, not for a defected eye for a healthy eye that means the person who is not suffering with any uh, eye defect so what is the least distance of distinct vision so that already you know 25 centimeters is the least distance of distinct vision if you keep any object from your eye at 25 centimeters then you can see clearly so i cannot see the image because i am having the defect so for my eye the least distance of distinct vision is not 25 centimeters right so that we are going to learn so what is the least distance of distinct vision for a myopic eye and hypermetropic eye right so least distance of distinct vision is a very important question in human eye and after that uh, the second one is visual angle so these are the terms that you have to learn in this chapter and terms related to human eye terms related and their function so what is the function of each and every thing in the human eye and next coming to the next subtopic is defects so this is very 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 important you can give 3 to 5 star rating for the defects we have two kind of defects myopia and hypermetropia so we are going to learn detailly what is myopia and what is hypermetropia so these are the important subtopics in this chapter human eye so dispersion and prism these concepts are in reduced syllabus so they are not going to include in this year's question paper so only you concentrate on human eye the topics related to human eye 
and the defects right and coming to the next chapter this chapter is totally there hundred percent is there for the exam so no topic uh, deleted from this chapter so this is hundred percent these two this is hundred percent you can read from the textbook this is hundred percent and this is partial so from prism concept from prism it's not there in the syllabus if you go, if you go through the textbook so till prism every concept is there for the exam then after prism no concept is there so current electricity is 100 percent so current electricity is also very important and easy chapter to score in the examinations this is an easy chapter comparative to the first two chapters okay so in current electricity so what are the topics that we have to cover so just read the textbook thoroughly read the textbook thoroughly then you can answer many number of questions from current electricity so only the uh, according to my knowledge one or two problems that to simple very simple problems based on series and parallel combination of resistors that's it so remaining all questions are there straight away from the textbook so no need to work more on uh, this chapter so just you go through the textbook that's enough so what are the topics are there in this what is electromotive force emf okay what is electromotive force and then what is voltage that means potential difference and after that what is drift velocity so once directly they asked what is the drift velocity 0.7 millimeters per second so drift velocity and the next about series and parallel combinations of resistors important topics okay series and parallel combination of resistors and one of the most important is ohm's law so ohm's law is very very important the statement is important that means at constant temperature the potential difference is directly proportional to electric current or current is proportional to potential difference so uh, starting from the statement everything is important as far as ohm's law is concerned the graph okay what is the shape of the graph what are ohmic conductors what are non ohmic conductors on which factors the resistance of a conductor depends what is resistivity so everything we can cover in ohm's law okay what was it what is resistance and on what factors it depends what is resistivity and what factors it depends the so most important topic resistance and resistivity that you can cover in ohm's law resistance and resistivity okay so after that electric power so how to calculate the domestic power bill uh, how much electrical energy is consumed you can you can calculate uh, by using the concept of power even at our, at our houses also you can calculate the electric power in kilowatt hours right and one of the one topic is also there but that is not very important for the uh, a policy set examinations kirchhoff loss so that is high standard topic okay it's there in the textbook but it's not so important for the exam okay first law is important but second law is uh, no need to refer that right so anyhow we are going to discuss all these topics detailedly and how many questions appeared previously in each and every subtopic and how many questions are going to appear that means expected questions for 2021 so that all we are going to discuss in coming sessions right uh, follow these videos clearly regularly and watch all these videos so that you can follow or you can prepare you, you can prepare for the exam in a systematic way okay so frequently we are going to give some questions also you try to answer those questions so that you you are going to be perfect with the respective subtopics and children okay bye